Wait, wait, wait. All right. Pouring one out for the homies for the end of Supernatural. And then... Mm. All right. <laughs> yeah, let's get it done. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey, guys. Kind of cry, yeah, kind of, kind of crazy. I'm saying this, but this is uh, episode 20 of Supernatural season 15, the season finale, as well as the series finale. I'm a bit mixed on how this ends because it doesn't end badly. It doesn't end great. It kind of ends very, very middle of the road in terms of playing it safe but probably the last shot is one of my favorites. What the episode follows is the brothers kind of just going on another hunt. It's after they've defeated God, just kind of them enjoying life and whatnot. And then they run into these vampires that all of a sudden steal kids. And then the most out of nowhere cameo ever that I would have thought that would have happened in this episode, the vampire chick from Dead Man's Blood from season one appears and then dies oddest cameo don't know why i just thought that was the weirdest part of this episode and then as they're fighting the vampires that for some reason are wearing masks i think they did it because they couldn't afford to do uh teeth as you will see there were budget issues later on in the episode they show the red herring of the the pike in the wall and the, the pole and i thought oh that's it that's how dean's gonna take him out and then Dean gets impaled on it. Oh shit! And at first I was like, okay, he's gonna be alright. And then he's like, nope, I'm dead. And I'm like, okay. Don't you have about eight jillion MacGuffin spells to fix this? But they play it through. There's actually a pretty good piece of dialogue between the brothers. Admittedly, it was a bit cringy at first because you're just kind of having to excuse all of the things in the back of your mind that like they could do this, they could do this, they could do this, they could do this. You just have to kind of excuse it. And also Jensen's acting's a little awkward at first. Also, if someone is dying from that, he should be bleh from the mouth at the very least because y you can see how much they cheaped on the budget. It's, it's so evident in this episode. I think maybe they had five bucks to film this last episode. But either way, there is a pretty good piece of interaction between the two, and Dean passes on, and he goes to heaven. He meets Bobby there, who doesn't have his gray beard. It's actually kind of interesting. It's like he's aging reverse. And apparently Jack and Castiel have fixed heaven, and now it's just, yeah, everyone's just on a permanent awesome vacation in Squamish or Whistler. One of the two. It's it's a nice place up here. And Dean just goes on the road and just starts to drive the car. While we cut back to Sam, who's going through the grief of having lost Dean, and we see him trying to figure out a way to move on, and he kind of just does. And he has a kid with a woman who we have no idea who is. I really thought this was gonna be the point where they bring Eileen back, but I don't know. I guess they just couldn't bring her back. She wasn't able to come up here, maybe. I don't know. Admittedly, that might have been one of the big things that was affected by the coronavirus was just whether you can bring actors up here or not. I don't know if she would have wanted to come up here, stay quarantined for two weeks, shoot one scene, and then one day of work and then stay and then come back home to then do the same thing again. Maybe that was just wasn't what she wanted to do, which is unfortunate, but totally understandable. And then eventually Sam passes on, but not before we see some of the worst aged makeup ever. Like, holy shit, was it bad? The first point, I think when he's supposed to be like 60 or something, they just dyed his hair. That's it. And then at the end, they died his beard. <laughs> They're kind of trying to do like a How I Met Your Mother thing all in like a minute. And I'm not talking about a disappointing change of events, but more so just summarizing a bunch of things about the characters. And then eventually Sam passes and Dean and Sam see each other on the bridge and they meet. And it's a great little meeting and I loved it. And then they actually look at the camera and they say thank you to the fans which is a great thing you know I, I appreciate that I appreciate that they put it into this episode and then the other part that I very much enjoyed is that they show the whole crew 
on the bridge and the drone flies away. And I thought that was great. I thought that was really, really well done because the one thing that I will regret having never gotten to work physically on an episode of Supernatural is that I heard through stories, especially in the latter seasons, that while the show's writing is obviously kind of terrible, the family dynamic of the show was stupendous. I heard the camaraderie and everything at the end was very, very good. And it's interesting. It would have been cool to see this. But I do like that last shot. So in the end, is this an episode that's like the king of all king episodes? No. If this somehow is the best episode on IMDb, I'm not going to be happy about it, but I'm not going to be upset either. It's a pretty middle of the road, no risks taken, but probably not too bad of an idea. Decently executed, but eh, in terms of memorabilia. I think that this episode maybe might have been a little bit better had they... One had better makeup, two had more money. <laughs> uh, but honestly, I, I think this isn't a bad idea. Because we always wondered what would happen would they run right off into the sunset in this way. They do, but at the same time, they also pass on. Their job is complete. They are done. And there's no way there's going to be a movie. That's something else that I kind of just realized. There's no way there's going to be a movie now. They're dead. What are you going to do? Bring them back again? In the end, what did I think of this? It's it's kind of odd. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that they go up to heaven and he just mentions that Jack fixed it when there was that whole storyline about heaven, you know, dying that was dropped. I think that's odd that they never touched on this. The empty doesn't come up either. Yeah, it's totally left open. There's a few answers that are just never given, and I think I'll talk more about that in my season review, but either way, I'm not too disappointed with this episode. I'm not too woo about it either, but I think it's a pretty okay episode to end on. So in the end, I'm gonna give the series finale of Supernatural Season 15 of the whole show a 4 out of 7. And that's kind of how I feel I would give the whole series a review right now, just in terms of anything. But that's something for a much, much further down the road day. Holy crap, it's over. I can't believe it. I'm very, very surprised and I feel kind of odd about it. It's weird. It's it, it, This is the end. This is the end of a legacy of things and a fandom that we've all been a part of. Whether we were happy with it, whether we were frustrated with it, whether we were angry with it, whether we loved it, we were all part of it. And it's very weird to see something end. Like I didn't go, oh, I wasn't crying. I wasn't super overjoyed. I was just like, all right, that chapter's closed. So, give me your guys' comments. What did you think of this finale? Be critical, but also just kind of be reminiscent about it uh, if you want. I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. Of course, I'll do the video talking about it, and then I will do my season finale review very soon. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you've also enjoyed the reviews and of the episodes throughout. But until then, if you guys like the video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe, and otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.